The Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination UTMA for 2019 quiz started on the 11th of April 2019. It was a week-long exercise. The conclusion of the examination was on the 17th of the same month. Despite the challenges encountered during the examination, the result ought to be out within a few days. Surprisingly, several weeks after, the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board JAM is yet to release the result of the examination. Speaking on this development, an educationist, Princess Milinet Uzogwe, and a barrister, Pascal Onyishi, expressed their positions on the conduct of the 2019 UTME examination. JAM is not necessary. They should dissolve JAM. And then universities should handle the exam like before. Instead of subjecting the, our children to double examination. And Jambi is not doing better than the universities. The universities know the quality. You know, it will even, um, the universities will do it better because they will want to have their own quality. But this time Jambi will do all what they want and send to universities. So I am suggesting that Jam should be disbanded. The basic problem with Nigeria has always been a somersault of uh, policies. The, we do not have a system that guarantees uh, a smooth, fluid movement of policies and ideas as per implementation. They lamented that the board was too hasty in cancelling the paper and pen mode of writing examination without considering the Nigerian circumstances. If you are using computer, you are marginalizing those from the villages. One, they don't have light. Some villages, some young people in the villages have never seen computer. If they go back to paper, better for them. At least you will see the papers. This one, computer, is garbage in, garbage out. You don't know what they have put in there. You know, the computers may not even be working. You have heard about even our election, card readers, some are not working. And so, if something is not working, it's not working. And if it's not working, it affects the entire exam and the entire result. My sincere opinion is for JAMB to generally cancel whatever it is they think they have done and then start afresh look at their strengths and their weaknesses and identify the best way to do a jump exam that will capture, incorporate and take care of the teaming Nigerian students. That, for me, is the way forward. They have this advice for the examination board. If you want to put somebody as a registrar of jump, you should put somebody that is technologically advanced. Somebody that is ICT compliant. Somebody that understands the issues of the moment as far as computer and everything concerning computer is involved. Computerization is not something that happens overnight. It, there must be a stopgap period. There must be a period of, say, um, incubation or orientation or whatever, whereby um, uh, people are taught and uh, more people uh, get aware and get used to the new system before it can work. You, ju you just don't come in the middle of the day, bah, you, know, you want to scrap, uh, uh, be, according to them, the business centers, you want to, uh, for whatever reason, without thinking, without making sure that on ground that uh, you have put in place a new process, a new system that will Take care of whatever lapses that you want to correct. Meanwhile, Jam says it has commenced the verification of 1.8 million candidates that sat for the exams. Lulu, Bangkok, ITV News, Abuja.